All right, welcome to Family Fitness. Today we're gonna to be doing some uh, yoga, stretching, and core work, if we can get this guy to leave us alone. <clears throat> so we're gonna start with neck stretches, so we're gonna look down and up. So wherever you are, you can grab your kids and make them do the work. <laughs> we're gonna look left to right, just warming up the neck. Shoulders should be back, hands should be down. Good, for the shoulders we're gonna stand up, we're gonna do big arm circles. We're gonna have our palms up in front of us, our elbows locked, and then down behind us. And then we'll change directions. Swing our arms, just watch starting low like a helicopter, low and small, and slowly working your way up. Just watch the people around you, unless you're trying not to watch the people around you. And then slowly making your way back down. Ow. <laughs> oh, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> you got smoked. <laughs> Good, we're gonna get into a little ball, so hands and knees. And a little ball and we're gonna put right elbow on the knee and you're gonna reach up and over <laughs> and then you're gonna change sides and reach up and over so elbow on the knee <laughs> reach up and over and then up and over so the lower back classic spine <laughs> Baby Yoda, I think of Baby Yoda teaching Baby Yoga. Good, so after eight per side, we're gonna come back to our feet. Feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna hinge over with a flat back, one hand uh, at six o'clock, the other at 12, and we're just gonna rotate back and forth. Good, then we're gonna come down like a windmill. So we're gonna have one hand up. And we're just gonna reach down opposite toe and then come back up. So our hands always pointed at the ceiling. Same hand. Right, you're gonna look up at your hand, you're gonna come down, keeping your knees straight until you touch the opposite foot or as low as you can go, and then come back up. Keep on. So your hand should always be pointed at the ceiling and your eyes should be up at the ceiling. So if you had a weight in your hand, it would always be pointed at the ceiling. We're going to change arms. Same thing, now coming down to the opposite side. Try and keep your knees as straight as you can. If you can't get low, that's okay. <laughs> Good job. 
good. We're gonna go into a pigeon. <clears throat> and what we're gonna do is from our pigeon, we're gonna get low. Then we're gonna come up onto our hands, onto our feet, push back with our butt in the air like a downward dog. Calves and heels are gonna aim for the ground. Then we're gonna bring the other foot in and come down like a pigeon. So we're gonna come up, heels down, butt up, and then come down into a pigeon. Constant movement. He's not even doing anything. He's amazing at the downward. Kind of like a push-up, but the pigeon brush. Without actually doing any push-up. It's kind of confusing what leg you do. Right, leg, left. <laughs> right, right, leg. Right. Leg. left. Like. Good. Next, we're going to do Cossacks or side lunges. So, feet double shoulder width apart. This is what we're using your mat for. Well, if we have bare feet, you can probably be fine on the floor anyway. Yeah. So, just going to come down. Nice low position to start. And then come back up. So coming down, just warming up the movement a little bit, and back up. Eight times per side. Is that how much have you done? Seven per side. Try and keep your heel down and your knee back. So your heel is down, your knee is in line with your toes. Good. Feel good? <clears throat> so for the ankle, we're going to have standing double shoulder width apart. And you're going to bring your back knee forward as far as you can, keeping your heel down and then you're gonna come back up, keeping your heel down though. So your back heel has to keep touching the floor. <clears throat> so as I bring my knee forward, I'm keeping my heel down. As soon as my heel lifts, I'm gonna back it up. Are you biting your foot? So we're gonna do that 10 times per, per foot. change sides. So bring the knees back knee as far forward as you can in a straight line so your foot's crooked. Your back foot should be in a, in a straight line. You're still crooked. Your back foot. Keep turning. Yeah. Now bring your knee down as low as you can keeping your heel down and then back up. Keeping your heel down though. Yeah. You can put weight on your front leg. Yeah, take your time, do a few extra. You have to use a wall to, to actually do the measurement. Okay, so next we're gonna go, we're gonna do the hip, uh, hip rotation. So I'm just gonna walk you through each step. So we're gonna start at the bottom of a Cossack, so you're gonna come as low as you can. Now from here, we're gonna roll, keeping our leg as straight as we can, we're gonna roll and our hip push toward the ground, our hip into this position. Okay, knee down, you can put your knee down. 
Good, then you're gonna come up, continuing to drive the hip forward. If you can, you're gonna pick up the back foot and bring it to your butt. Yeah. Then you're gonna bring your foot down. You're gonna come forward. You're gonna come onto the side of your foot and bring your hip down to your heel. So I'm going from here, I'm just rotating my hip, not moving my feet, just rotating my hip. And you should feel a big pull in, in the hip. And then you're gonna come back to straight into the Cossack and then up. And then we're gonna come down on the other side. So coming down to the bottom of the Cossack, good, slowly rolling, so come back again. Keep that leg straight. Yeah, now you're rolling with your leg straight and your hip toward the ground, so you already bent your leg right away. The first thing you did was this. So you need to keep that leg straight and then roll down. Good, driving the hip forward. So you feel the stretch in your hip flexor right now. You're gonna come up, then heel to butt. Then come down onto the side. So come back to here. Yeah, you guys are both trying to share that now. It's really not working for you. And especially with tightening away. Yeah, you want to go from here. All you're doing is coming onto your side. It's going to rotate outside of your hip. You're going to feel it pull. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. And then we're going to come back to the Cossack. And we're going to come up. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So back down. On your heel. Knee back. Slowly roll your hip forward. You're gonna come up into a kneel. Back leg up. Okay. Gonna bring your foot down. Gonna roll your hip over. Then you're gonna come back. What's that? So start here. That's not how you are though. So bring that foot all the way so you're straight. Yeah. Now, without moving either foot, right, you're gonna move this foot down, but that's it. You're gonna move it down toward the ground and on the side of your knee. So I only feel it here. Okay. So back into the Cossack, and then up, and then down to the other side. We're gonna do this side again. And then straight leg rolling in. Good, foot down, heel toward the ground, or hip toward the ground on the side of the foot. Good, then back into a call sack, and then back up. Good, so grab your band. Find some space here. So with the band, and you can use a towel if you had a towel at home, you don't have a band. So we're gonna start with our legs straight and we're gonna pull back. So leg locked, knee locked. So let me see the knee locked out, bottom leg straight. Yeah, knee straight like this. Yeah, now you're gonna pull your far back as you can. Don't pull too hard though. You're just going to a stretch and then back down. We're gonna do that 10 times pulsing. Try and keep your knee straight. Good, then we're gonna change legs and do the same thing on the next leg. Good, now we're gonna cross this leg over to the side and we're gonna pull up. You pull over to the side. Follow the floor, like you're trying to drag your foot up along the floor toward your head. <laughs> then you're gonna come back to the 
do the other side. So after you did 10 on that side, you're gonna flip over to the other side and do the same thing for 10. Now sticking with our right leg, we're gonna do the same thing, but now with our right leg out to this side, we're gonna come up. So now instead of being twisted over ourselves, we're actually just opening up the hip, smelling the feet. Smell my feet, boy. I got Titan's paws. And I also have butt because... 10 of those, and then change sides. Good. The leg should be straight. And you're trying to come back straight. Like lay on your back and just pull your leg. Okay. Then we're gonna come with our seated position with our feet together. Depending how back how straight your back is. Now if your legs are up like this, you wanna we wanna prioritize a flat back. So just like we did yesterday. Or you can put your, you can bring your hip up and flat if you need to. Not too much, don't over exaggerate, that's hyper extending. So you just want to be straight, not too uncomfortable. Lower your chest, kind of relax a bit more. Yeah. Good, so knees as low as you can. Obviously you're going to stretch. And then what you're going to do, so if you're on this side, if you're, if you're up like this with your knees up, you're just going to reach over and pull yourself one way, and then reach over and pull yourself the other way. Keeping straight though. Reaching with our hand, not reaching with our whole body. Okay, and if, if your knees are all the way down, that's when we're gonna go low to the ground and actually twist and rotate back and, the, and forth. You're just gonna use your knee though, because your back is too rounded when you do it. Yeah, so you're gonna, if you're up like this, you're gonna take your knee and you're gonna use your knee to pull. And then you're gonna turn and you're gonna use your knee to pull. Right. Because I'm down and that wouldn't do anything for me, I'm just going to go a little bit lower into the ground and rotate. So it's the same, same idea. Just a little bit deeper in the stretch for me. Good, now we're gonna go into a frog. Frog? So, this is the frog. So we're gonna have our knees apart and our feet at 90 degrees here. All right, we're gonna come down to the elbows. And you're gonna open up your knees as far as you can with your feet still at 90 degree angle at the knee. And we're gonna push back. So with our elbows, we push oh, and bring our, <laughs> bring our hips back. It's a good stretch. <laughs> so no, it shouldn't hurt too much. You're just feeling a stretch. Don't play with him, please. Because it's going to make it worse. He's gonna, just going to want to play and it's going to cause problems. And then we're going to come back to the push-up. And then slowly bring the knees in, because that one's pretty intense on the hips. And then you're going to crouch into a ball. Wiggle your hips around. Slowly turn your hips side to side, a minute. Your eyes are like wide open. He's like, Good. So shoulders. We're gonna do shoulder clocks. <clears throat> so laying down, we're gonna have that one arm out at ninety or to flat straight out. Then we're gonna roll over into a chest stretch. <laughs> So 10 times pulsing away. We 
And then we're gonna come up at a higher angle, do the same thing. So we did three o'clock, now we're gonna do like a 130. And then across the front of the body. Like this one? Yep. And then roll, yeah. His eyes are so wide. And then we're gonna do the other shoulder, same thing. A little starting at nine o'clock. the body. And then we'll come back up. I feel like this is just stretching. Mobility is stretching, what? Is yoga stretching? Yeah. Yoga is stretching, depends on the type of yoga. Okay, now we're gonna hold some slightly longer stretches. So we're gonna go back to our band, laying back, and we're gonna pull back for the hamstring, and this time we're gonna hold. And we're gonna hold for 45 seconds. seconds. I don't know why I did that. Knee <laughs> straight. Ah. Drop that foot. I don't want to smell feet. So you need to take a look yeah. Keep the knee <laughs> straight. You're gonna crush my head. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna change sides. Oh, I don't even know why. Come on right away to the next leg. You got it guys. Bottom leg straight, opposite leg straight. Hey, uh, 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 you're pushing me down. Man down. We're just holding, guys. We're holding. We're doing static stretches, like I said, so we're yeah. pausing and holding. 15 seconds. Good, we're gonna come up into a hip flexor stretch. So in our bottom lunge position, we can bring our back leg up if you can, or just bring your hip forward, and we're gonna hold this. This one we're gonna do for a minute, because this is a really good one. Seconds. <laughs> I think you spent most of the stretch losing your balance. <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> so I get some food. I am just grabbing the blanket. <laughs> Oh, 10 seconds left. James, try and straighten out because you can't stretch your hip flexor when you're bent over. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're going to go to a pigeon. Hold the pigeon. We do 45 seconds. <laughs> He's like, the blanket is key. Ten seconds. What are you doing here? Let's put that in here. Oh, you got some cake. Good, change sides. Happy does not balance one. Shake on it. Shake. Shake his legs. Wow. <laughs> Shake All right, we're gonna go into a shoulder again. So a shoulder clock, we're just gonna do the bottom and you're gonna roll over and we're gonna hold that. So 45 seconds again, stretching the chest. Is that your hair? That's, <laughs> That's me that you're playing. Oh, I thought that was Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Matthew's all the It's way not Titan or. No wonder it's so big. <laughs> 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 Matthew, you're going to be so big. Alright, we're going to change sides. Calm down. James? Uh -huh. Back up. Yeah. Put your arm out, palm down. This arm just should be higher. Lay back down on your stomach, raise it up. No, even higher. Back on your stomach, raise it up. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do, we're gonna finish with 10 minutes of core. So 10 minutes of core work. So what we'll do is we'll each pick an exercise and we'll do core exercises, which is abdominals mostly, obliques, lower back, that we're gonna count. No, push up position, which is a plank. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, one exercise for a minute at a time. Okay, so I pick an exercise, we're gonna do that for a minute, then you're gonna think of one for a minute, you're gonna think of one for a minute. Okay, so sit-ups is gonna be first. Unsupported, so feet flat on the ground, 
for one, we're gonna start in 10 seconds and then we're gonna roll for 10 minutes. That's the part of Titan's arm. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. So the sit-ups coming up, elbows to knees, and then come back down, up, back down. Touch his nose. <laughs> Good job. Keep going. So, Matthew, you have to have the next one in your mind. We've got 15 seconds to the next exercise. <laughs> Anything core for the stomach. Seven, six. Seven seconds, sorry. James, you got one? Yes. Alright, let's go to plank. Wait, what? Plank hold. Too late. Too no, slow. Dips is not an exercise. Go. Next one. Plank. I, I said toe to bar. Yeah. Toe to bar, you can't. We have no bar. It's, we're in our living room. We're gonna do toe to bar. Yeah, we have a bar. We're in our living room. We are in our living room and there's three of us, so you have to think of something we can do on this floor. Let's add in hip rotation. So rotate onto your toes on one side and the other. Rotating one and the other. Just <laughs> 20 seconds. You're gonna have an exercise, Matthew, or am I making another one? James, do you have one? I have one. Um, uh, crunch hold. What's a crunch hold? Legs up, feet up. Can I do this? Try not to. Can I do this? It burns though. It burns a lot. It burns. No, it doesn't. It's because you're holding your knee. Yeah, oh, it does not burn! 30 seconds. <laughs> Find it out. It does not burn! Oh, oh that burns. It does burn. <laughs> Seconds. We're gonna do leg raises next. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Good. All right, leg raises. So legs straight. We're gonna come up and then back down. Up and back down. <laughs> so Matthew, oh. try and keep your legs straight. Oh, that burns. <laughs> We're all really bad at this. Yeah, we are. <laughs> 30 seconds. Oh, oh my abs. Did you just say 25? No. Fifteen seconds. It was horrible at this. It was right here, and I was like... <laughs> ah, Seven I seconds. I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. No, I can't do this. Alright, we're going to do a twist. So, it's like straight up. You're going to go left. No. And then ow, right. Ow. So, focusing on the obliques. Keep doing your best. Shake it up and then get back into it when you can. Uh, it hurts. 20 seconds. And we're halfway done. It'll be a fifth exercise. What is it? Depends what it is. Um, side plank. 
temperature? Two, one. All right, 30 seconds aside. Yeah. Up and hold. All right, 15 seconds. You just gotta, you will need time. Do the change sides? Am I? Yeah, Just I my muscles shaking. <laughs> flexing and I'm flexing all my muscles. Ugh, it's soft. James, yeah. leave him alone. Hand up in the air. There you go. You pushed Deco. me over, you didn't tickle me. Alright, which one's next? Uh, oh, I don't know. I just... Alright, let's do side V crunches. Oh. So on your side, here we go. One. 30 seconds. No, the next one's scissor. I'm doing it. So I'm lay on your side. Bottom arm out. And hand to elbow. Knee to elbow. Yeah. Yeah, change size. <laughs> Ten seconds. All right, next one, scissors. Like yeah, a ranger kick. That's seven, we got three left. Show me. No. All right, we're gonna do this, an actual scissor kick. Well, it is in a half sit up. If you're laying down, it's not. Oh, my abs are dead. Thirty seconds. But I'm feeling Wait, you just said more. You just said more. Keep going. Fight it out, guys. You got this. Twenty seconds. Oh, Fifteen seconds. Five. All right, let's go Superman. So on your stomach. One hand up, then the opposites, alternating. Those are your strength in lower back. Slow it down, control your lower back. As high as you can. Hands and arms, hands and legs. Opposite sides. Squeezing your lower back as you come up. 20 seconds. We've got one more left after this. Should we finish with plank? That's okay. <laughs> you just now agreed because he said no. Five seconds. One minute of plank and we're done. Two, one. All right, up and plank. So try and get your elbows under your shoulders. Yeah. You're kind of back like this a bit. Just come forward. Yeah. Hips down a little bit. Too far. <laughs> now your elbows are forward. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds.
two, one, and down. All right, good job. We are done. Hope you enjoyed it.